Hey everyone, so I'm not quite sure if you can hear the vacuum in the background, but I just sat down to make a video and my mom decided to vacuum the downstairs. So if you can hear that, I'm really sorry. I There's no other time for me to make this video, so I'm just gonna continue talking and hopefully you can't hear the vacuum. So since I've gotten back in the habit, or at least trying to make this a habit of making videos, I thought I would start 2016 off with a January favorites video. I'm hoping to get in the habit of doing these every month. And these videos are just me showing you what my freight it, what? These videos are showcasing what my favorite products were during that month and so let's just get started. These were my favorite products that I used throughout the month of January and again just like a haul video I love showing you guys what I use and I like watching these types of videos too just to get some ideas of new products or seeing a product that I use and how that person uses it. I don't know I just I like things like that so I guess I'm weird. So let's just get I started I know I just said that let's actually get started so I'm first showing you my wet brush I'm sorry if you can see just a little bit of hair left over um, but a wet brush if you don't have one of these go get one I saw that they have mini ones in Target not sure if they had the full size ones but I'm sure if they have mini size that they would sell the full size version um, and I thought that was great for travel just a smaller size and they also have these at Ulta this is the greatest brush ever it I have really tangled hair I think it's because I get my hair highlighted so often and it's long and I just coming out of the shower it's always tangly and I use detangler but even with the wet brush I don't have to use detangler every single time my um, hairstylist recommended this to me about two years ago and at that time I was using the Tangle Teaser, which is another great hairbrush. So I didn't need this one, but I was in Ulta one day last year and thought, hey, why don't I try the wet brush? And this is a holy grail. I recommend anyone to have a wet brush. It gets all the tangles out. It's a great thing to have on hand. Having long hair, I have found that my hair is always flat. I've never been able to find a volumizer that gives me that full volume, just oomph in my hair, and I just, Finally found it in the L'Oreal Paris Boost It Volume Inject Mousse, and I have had this product for a while, but I never really put it to good use. So recently, within this month of January, I have been using it and loving it, and it's giving me that volume, whether my hair is curled or straight, that I have been wanting. Now I have two foundations to share with you today. It is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fab Fabulous 3-in-1 and the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. Both of these foundations are what I recommend to people when they ask me what foundation they should have. I helped one of my best friends do her wedding makeup and these were the two products that I suggested to her. We ended up going with the three in one and it was just a overall great foundation. The Stay Luminous I would recommend for someone that has dry skin. It gives that extra damp look to their face without it looking wet in a way because if your face is dry you want it to look not dry. Um, someone that has oily skin would probably not benefit, actually you would not benefit from this product at all, but because I have dry skin, this foundation works really well. And the 3-in-1 is just great for all types of skin type. Skin type. Really, Candace, like all types of skin types. So when I'm doing a full face of makeup, I like to put on foundation and then I put on a powder over top. And my favorite powder to this day has always been the Bare Minerals and I specifically like it in a matte color. They have the original type of powder, which is good too, but I like the matte. If I don't want a full face of makeup, I can just wear this on top of my face naturally and it still acts as a foundation that covers my uh, skin discoloration or any blemishes that I may have. This is in the fairly light color. Usually I'm in the medium light range um, because it's winter time I went lighter and I'm more pale so why not. But this is a really great pow mineral powder foundation. Um, Neutrogena also has a really great mineral powder foundation and Maybelline. I love mineral powder. If I don't want to have actual liquid foundation on my face, I reach for the powder all the time. This is what I actually put in my work video. Um, I did 
what my makeup looks like in the workplace so keep an eye out for that video and this is the product that is featured on my face in that video this month's concealer favorite is Maybelline's fit me concealer I'm in the number 15 um, it's like a fairly light color I love this concealer for under the eyes I make the triangle if I want to have like that light colored underneath your eyes look or any blemishes that I may have this baby clears it all like it just makes it disappear gone poof Woo! moving on to eye makeup I have the Revlon photo ready uh, primer shadow palette I don't know it's f number 505 the impressionist and what got me on this is that same friend that I was helping her with her wedding hi Kelly uh, we used some of these colors in her eyes or in her eyes on her eyes for her wedding and we did a trial run two times and both times we used colors from this palette and it, they're just really great pa colors I love that the light brown I can use in the crease all over um, with a concealer brush and you just brush it on the brows of your or the lids of your eyes and then it has this dark color for your crease and this is my favorite color this light light pink but I always struggled to find a good color that would be light um, on my eyelids and this is the color that works for me I love it this is the greatest eyeshadow palette that you can take on the go and it's all in one place I wear eyeliner on the top of my lids every day except sometimes I feel that my eyeliner is a little too dark and I get the brownest black color and I can never find just a brown eyeliner and actually one of my new teacher friends I just pay attention to people's makeup sometimes and her eyeliner was not too dark but you could still tell that she had eyeliner on and it was brown so I've been on this hunt for brown eyeliner and I can never find it well the Revlon color stay liquid eye pen in brown I guess I got the color mm, okay so this is black and brown however it it's a pen um, and when I put it on my eyes it's not harsh at all before I bought this next product I had gone on YouTube to find out what mascaras people like better and not many people liked the covergirl supersizer um, I think this is from Katy Perry's line I like it um, it took me a while to get used to but this is definitely going in my January favorites video because I used it all month long I like the brush that it has um, I have to use it quite a few times on my upper lashes but I only have to use it once on my lower lashes and I'm talking really fast because my battery is about to die on my camera I shared in my Target haul the Revlon color burst lip butter and berry smoothie this is my go-to lip gloss I used it all month of January love this color holy grail the last product I have is Wet n Wild's Met Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Illuminating Powder, and I like this. Bl it is a blush, but I like it because it has darker colors for a bronzer, the pinks for your blush, and this lightest color for a highlighter. Guys, go out and get this blush. It is the prettiest blush. I actually am wearing it right now, and you see this line right here. That's from that top highlighter color. You can't get that in another blush that I have not been able to find unless you're gonna buy a highlighter separately and put that on yourself but this is the color and you can tell right up here in my cheekbone that's the bronzing color and I just take my blush brush and swipe it on those three different colors and do my blush in like one motion so this was definitely a January favorites and I one of my favorites and I solely recommend if you don't go out and buy any of these products in my video from today go out and buy this one if you liked my video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and tell me what products you use in the bottom bar below. Um, if you like these videos, let me know as well, and I'd be sure to make you guys some more. So have a good week, guys.